Hey guys, welcome back to AWS Hands-On. And in this video, we are going to talk about EC2 status checks. So in the last video, I showed you that there are two status checks. There's one system status check and there's an instance status check. So as you can see on the screen on my right hand bottom, I'll explain you what happens basically. So suppose this is your rack. And in the rack, there is a guest operating system which is running. And on that operating system, you have your EC2 instance running. Suppose there are two EC2 instances running. EC2. EC2. So the system status checks. Suppose this is the guest OS. Right. And somewhere in the deep, deep AWS world, there's an EC2 API service and not much about this service is known because AWS doesn't let anybody I mean they haven't revealed much about their internal infrastructure so what this EC2 API service does it keeps on pinging the guest OS and also your EC2 instance and as long as it's receiving the response from the ping your status checks are up it's showing two cross two once suppose i mean if suppose something happens to the guest os because this guest os is also i mean what we can imagine is a virtual machine so so if something happens to this guest os one of your instance check would fail and if suppose something happens to your ec2 instance both of your checks would fail so the, this is what your basically status checks are so if we go on to this i thing you'll see this checks verifies that your instance is reachable so these are basically reachability checks so reachable reachable from the point of this ec2 api the mother of ec2 we test that we are able to get the network packet to your instance if this check fails, there may be issue with the infrastructure hosting the instance, such as AWS Power, like, like I told you, AWS Power, networking, software system, and whatever. You may need to restart or replace the instance, wait for system to resolve. Okay. Instance check. Let's see what this says. This check verifies that your instance operating system is accepting traffic. So you see, I mean, it's, it's very much. And these are nothing. These are simple ping tests. So one of my friend who works in AWS, he has told me about this. So these are just ping tests, ping, ping, no special protocol. So what to do if your instance is failing these checks? So suppose you have the instance status check fail and not, and your system status check is okay. So what you can do is you can wait for some time and probably maybe in some time your instance status check would be okay because this is related to your OS. And if you don't want to wait, uh, you just need go into the actions, instance state, and you can just need to reboot your EC2 instance and your instance status check would be okay. But when your system status check fail, you have no other option but to reboot your instance. So what rebooting does is it takes this EC2 instance from this host and places places it onto another host basically, on another healthy host. So this is how this basically functions when you reboot. This is what happens behind the scene. That is why your status checks come up. So I hope you liked this video and you got a little understanding how status checks work and in the next video we'll be going over and talking about the types of ec2 instances we have and all the other stuff which we discussed so keep watching thank you for watching